The atmosphere of St. Tikhon's, especially the silence, it really stirs up something inside of us to kind of internalize that silence right, within our inner life, within our soul. And, you know, it's, it's there that we begin to know God. I think as a single student, I think we're given a great opportunity to develop certain habits, right, while we're here, whether it be a prayer rule, um, whether it be going to church. Um, we're given that opportunity here to develop those habits so that it begins here, but then it continues once we leave. It can be a struggle at times being a single seminarian and seeing your married friends get ordained uh, year after year, first the diaconate and then to the priesthood. And what keeps us going is knowing that God has a plan. One of the teachers here told us that no matter what happens to you after seminary, you were called to be here. And it's a unique experience into forming you into a man of God. You have the freedom to, in the course of three years, to really discover the type of man of God that you are to be. And that is formed by the brotherhood that is here in the dorms. The brotherhood that's formed here is going to be a brotherhood that lasts for eternity. Life in the dormitorium is part of this spiritual formation that you will encounter. You are leaving your family, your friends, your career and your profession behind. You're packing your life in suitcases to come to South Canaan in the middle of northeast Pennsylvania. There will be times that are testing, but I assure you that the brotherhood within the dormitory will always be there. We look after one another. As I said, we pray. We eat together. We read scriptural readings together. But we're also human beings, so we like to have fun. We don't take ourselves too seriously, but we do take the vocation of being a seminarian seriously. We have uh, community events that sometimes surround around the dorm. Like for example, soon we're gonna have this uh, drive-in movie night on, on the lawn where we're gonna have some of the single students who'll just be out there camped out in their picnic blankets and some of the married families will come with their cars and their families and sort of tailgate. And it's just um, a nice blending of the community. And for a lot of the single people, they're looking to get married or some of them might not. They might have monastic uh, vocations. And both of those are great and we need both of those people in our churches and we need both of those people in seminary, both of them studying side by side so that, you know, the married folks can understand the struggle of the single folks and sort of reminisce on that and, and be there to help them through it and when, it, when it's difficult. And the single people can be there to kind of lighten the mood sometimes for the married folks when maybe things are a little uh, too hectic at home or, or they, they just need a little bit of a break and there's that relationship there as well. Every aspect of the life at seminary gives us the opportunity to cultivate that relationship with our Lord, to really contemplate um, what His call for us is. At seminary, at St. Tikhon's, we are fully inculcated into the life of the church, um, whether it's by singing, reading, serving in all the services, by being assigned to read the, the lives of the saints or the precious words of the church fathers. We come to learn who Christ is and we come to learn who we are and that helps us discern what his call is for us. So we ask ourselves and we know the answer when we say, do we believe in Christ? And as Orthodox Christians, we obviously say yes. But then the supplementary question to that is, how much do we trust him? So I ask you, how much do you trust Christ? How much do you believe in Christ? And if you have a burning desire to serve the church, to be in church, you might not be confident yet that you want to be a deacon or priest. Seminary is not just about making deacons and priests. It's, a ma it's about making the best version of you. And if you love Christ, you love his church, you love the mission, then I encourage you wholeheartedly 
to speak to your pastor. Be reflective and come, come to St. Tepons. <laughs>